Hi, this is Peldi from Balsamic, and today I'm going to wireframe a magical little feature. Let's get started. All right, so the idea here is that you have an existing application and you want to make a tweak to an existing uh, screen. So, for example, I have your iTunes with the preference panel open. So the idea is that you would take a screenshot and then add it as an image. And then what I would like here is to have a button that says, turn this into a wireframe. And what that do, what that would do is to, with uh, ma the magic or of computer vision, interfacial intelligence, blah, 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 turn this into a text input, a checkbox, labels, windows, icons, basically recognize all the elements of this so that then I could add my feature. Because right now, if I want to do that, I have to do this. I duplicate it, I crop it, I make some space. Say I want to add this, a feature right there, right? So here's, here's how we do it today. You move this down a little bit to make space and then do a rectangle, you know, cover this part. Uh, and then you gotta try to match the color and then you end up with this um, sort of mixed uh, fidelity wireframe right um, my new label oops there we go and then a checkbox a uh, new feature, right? You gotta try to match this, the font size, it's just a mess. Instead, if it was all a wireframe, people would not get confused. So I think we can make it happen with uh, computer vision, uh, machine learning, and all that jazz. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that, um, so you would have an image selected then you would have uh let's do the uh let's wireframe balsamic itself so here's the the right side and then what do you see okay we have a label combo box icon 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 checkbox I think that's all. So image, uh, my screen, screenshot PNG. So that's the image inspector. Let's see, yep. Oh, these are two buttons, okay. Oops, come on. Then you have these two are actually buttons. And uh, actually, they're icons with uh, with border. So there's a wait. What? There's a plus and a cloud. Plus and cloud. I think that's it. Let me see. Yeah, cloud. Oh, cloud plus. Oh well, it's close enough. So there's that, then there's a rotate, and a um, X uh, times that, right, did I do that right? Yeah, and then there's sketch it. Okay, you know, I would really love to have a little feature now where I could just give it an image of the inspector and have it magically turn itself into this that way i'm gonna save a couple of minutes now um all right so here's my idea my idea is that there would be a nice button here that says convert to wireframes or convert to controls uh convert to ui controls and I wonder if we have to have 
that's kind of an implementation detail. But if I think what we have to do have is a is a confirmation dialog. Convert image to UI controls. Um, because say you pass it a, a photo of a person, it's not going to be able to do a very good job there. Um, so I think maybe we want to do, are you sure? Confirm, cancel, you know, button, button, uh, convert and then cancel. Default, and then there will be preview. Mm, let's make it a rectangle. Mm -mm -mm. And then maybe it's just the text. Please review the converted uh, image and confirm that. Do we need this? Maybe we just do an undo if it doesn't work. Yeah, forget it, forget it. Let's make it one step magic. Just like sketch it, it just works. And if it doesn't work, you undo, that's fine. Yeah, so it takes an image and then um, it magically converts it. So let me let me wireframe that so that people see what I mean. So you have this selected. I gotta draw the selection rectangle. Otherwise people will not understand. This is very meta. Uh, Wireframing, balsamic and balsamic. We do this a lot actually. Boop, 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 boop. So. Well. Okay. All right, so there it is. It's selected and then converts to your control. And then what happens is you still get the selection. Sorry, I just selected the wrong thing. Man, I don't know how to use this tool. Uh, send it back. There we go. You still get the, the selection. but all of a sudden it's magically the right thing. Now, some parts it might not recognize it, so it will leave those as image, but I think it can uh, window. I think it can try to do a pretty good job. So we'll put it there and we'll do this. Man, I can't wait. This is going to be an exciting feature. And then uh, I won't. I'm not going to wireframe the whole thing, but just enough that they understand what's going on. All right, let's do it. My very name. Ah. Where am I? All right, let me start putting 
some stuff in the right spot. I think this should also be focused. Selected. Okay, uh, and then the selection would be actually smaller because um, because now um, these are real controls, so it would have ignored the background, the, the shadow. So then if you undo, it becomes an image again. And uh, otherwise, you have them all selected and you're good to go. Man, this is exciting. Now, so this works well for all cases, right? You can pass it an image of a mobile app or a desktop app like this, or even a screenshot of a website. But I think for websites, we can, inst instead of, um, basing on an image, we can do better by inspecting the DOM of the web page. And we can do that with a Chrome extension. So let's wireframe that now. Um, I can get Chrome from wireframes to go. There it is. Import. So now I have Chrome. Boom, that was nice. Um, I just want it as a group. All right, so here the idea is that I could have another extension called the, I don't know, balsamic uh, or conversion uh, something, web page to, um, web page to, to balsamic extension and then if you are on a web page and you go and you uh, you click it what would happen it would do a pop-up and it would tell you it would tell you Um, web page converted to balsamic UI controls. Um, and this web page converted. Just go to uh, balsamic and converted and copied and hit command V to see that's it that's it people don't want to read they know what this does based on uh, on the marketing material that they saw before they installed it so that's fine that's all uh, that's it it will, that's it, that's it, that's it. It puts it in the, in the clipboard and then you go and it's done.
Oh man, I love it. It's magic. It's one button and it just works. Now we'll see how well we can make it work, but I think we can. All right, stay tuned for this exciting feature. Bye.